John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Today is April 27, 2006. It's a beautiful day here at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard. We're standing in a, uh, a newly planted dwarf sweet cherry orchard. Uh, I've got some sweet cherries here that were uh, pretty much whips uh, that are New York numbered selections um, from Bob Anderson's uh, Cornell uh, Geneva breeding program for the cherries. And uh, I thought I'd show you today a technique that is uh, I've used to induce the kind of branching we want on these cherries. Um, if you notice here, there's a lot of uh, breaks up and down this whip. And what I'd like to do, I've got these cherries planted fairly close together, about eight feet apart. They're on Gisela 5 rootstock. I'd like to induce some nice, um, uniform, flat branching up and down this whip here. Um, I decided I didn't want to head these because I don't want to uh, get some strong lower scaffolds. I've got a fairly uh, uh, tight spacing here, and I want to grow more of a, a, uh, a slender spindle type uh, cherry tree with younger uh, fruiting wood up and down uh, the leader here, or the, uh, the central leader. So the technique I'm going to show you basically, it's very simple. We call it bud removal. The best time to do it is when these buds are just breaking, as you can see here. I'm going to leave two or three buds at the top of the uh, leader here to form a new leader. Maybe one or two of those will be removed later as necessary. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to leave one bud and take two or three of the following buds off. So leave one bud, take two or three of the buds below that off. Leave another bud, take two or three of the buds below that off. Leave another bud, take two or three of the buds below that off. Leave another bud, so on, right down to the base of the leader, usually more towards the base. I leave several buds to form my branching. So that's very simple. And what that'll do is it'll cause these buds to break out nicely and start growing. Um, they won't have any competition from buds above them, and they'll, they'll grow fairly strongly this year and a fairly flat branch angle. I may be able to, I'll probably put some clothespins in here to make sure they, they, they stay at a flat branch angle. So this is one of the most effective techniques for inducing branching in these whip young sweet cherries, and I've used it very successfully now for three or four years in a row to get a nice um, branch tree that I'm fruiting wood on three, two, three, four year old wood and removing those um, lateral branches up and down the lead or renewal cuts as the, the, the tree comes into bearing. You can also use this bud removal technique on any leader, on an older tree here for example, on this leader where we've got a strong one year old growth and I want to promote some branching on this leader. Again, we leave one, take a couple off, leave one, take two or three off, Leave one right on up the leader, take two or three off, leaving a couple or three buds at the terminal to make sure we have one up there. So, John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor talking about uh, the bud removal technique on cherries. Uh, just a quick reminder again, just when these buds start to pop out, um, is the best time to take them off. Do it during dry weather so they'll heal up and we minimize the canker problem here in the east. So, until next week. Have a good have a good day and we will talk to you later.